This thousand-year-old market town has seen political creeds come and go, and now, if traditional parties are giving way to remain or leave, could it benefit the Lib Dems? I don't actually agree with the revoke Article 50 stance of the Lib Dems, because I think it is an undemocratic thing to do. But in Newbury, um, they are the most likely party to unseat the Conservatives. Donington Castle is at the crossroads of major routes, north, south and east, west. And during the English Civil War, it saw its fair share of bloody battles. Now things are more genteel, but even so, it is looking out over a deeply divided country. One of the key questions for the general election is whether the Liberal Democrats can harness Brexit unhappiness to reshape the political landscape of Britain. Long-time Lib Dem observers think they could do it this time. You do now have a committed, angry subsection of the British public who are pro-European and feel completely ignored. In a sense, it's much more fertile territory for the Lib Dems than it has been in the last couple of elections. Here, the Lib Dems are a long way behind, but still, if they are to win the 100 seats they dream of, they need to be Newbury's cup of tea. Do you think many people around here will go Lib Dem? Personally, don't. Apart from putting money into, into mental health, it's all about Brexit. There is nothing about raising money, spending money, uh, or what they're going to do, so I can't see it. We called Colin. Colin Rallings, our election analyst. The Lib Dems can no longer rely on 20-odd seats in leave voting Devon and Cornwall, he pointed out. And he warned, in some seats their success could boost Boris Johnson. Many areas where it's a Conservative Labour seat with the Liberal Democrats starting a long way from behind is more likely to hurt Labour because Labour devout Remainers may be tempted to vote Liberal Democrat because they want this whole Brexit thing just cancelled and forgotten. Half past ago, this is the... Back in Newbury, the Lib Dems only chase the Tories. Brexit has to feature heavily enough to bring Joe Swinson's party in from distant second. This is a crowd that thinks it's quite good at picking winners. The question is, how many of them will back the Lib Dems? I will vote Lib Dems. I think this will be a lot closer this time around than in previous elections. We'll definitely vote Tory. I believe in democracy. So I'm not a Ramona. I have never been a Ramona. And there were real reservations about the Lib Dems. If we do manage to get out by January 31st, we've just voted in a new government. We've still got five years, so what else is beyond that? First past the post means a general election is never easy for Lib Dems. They may be the most clearly remain horse in the race, but it is not yet obvious they'll land on their feet. Alec Stratton, News at 10, Newbury.